This is 24. Ecstatic. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Remember to subscribe. Four more. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video on my new favorite anime, which I don't really watch a lot of anime. I'm not a uh, one of one of those type of guys that watches hours upon hours on end of anime, but I do get my fill of anime now and again. And my new favorite anime is Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. For starters, I have always been a Gundam fan ever since like the 1990s when I was born, when Gundam Wing came to America and that really just propelled the Gundam series in America. I've loved, I loved that series. I've loved other series like Double O Gundam with Setsuna FSA. I've also loved, I, I, the last Gundam series that I actually watched was Gundam Age and it was nowhere near on the level of Gundam Double O. Gundam and Gundam Wing, the two series that I primarily watch and even rewatch. I think I've watched both of those series at least two or three times. So, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blood has very good fights with the Gundams, which is very important. All of those series that I've just mentioned had in common, but what sets it apart from Gundam Age, which I didn't like as much as Double O Gundam and Gundam Wing, is that the story is very, very good. The story is about child soldiers, and it surprisingly deals with child soldiers in such a way, in a mature way for starters, but it also deals with it in such a unique way because it it doesn't show them really being in in a position where they don't want it doesn't show them in a position where they don't really want to fight where they don't necessarily want to be child soldiers but it also doesn't glamorize it it doesn't glamorize the fact that these are children killing people child soldiers is such a important topic to, to not glamorize because you obviously won't, don't want children to go out and and you know kill other children and other adults you don't want them you know to to trade their innocence for violence and they it's it's like watching a you know one of those guys on the tight ropes that balances himself with this very long pole it's kind of like that because they never fall over the 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 makers of this series they never really go over the edge with the series they they never glamorize it but they also they also don't really have a negative outlook like they don't necessarily penalize the children for making their decisions for fighting and doing all of this other stuff and that's what really makes the series great because you can kind of just not focus on the child soldier at uh, soldier moments whenever uh just throughout the series and you can focus on everything else like them just pure and simple fighting for their own survival this has been 24 remember to like comment favorite and subscribe for more i apologize for yesterday's video it had some very interesting editing but that was because i was recording the last night's video or today's video on QuickTime Player. I thought that that would be better. I don't know why it was not, but I'm back to my original software and hopefully this will remain consistently good. But tomorrow I will be uploading the Final Fantasy videos, the Final Fantasy video talking about the, the about Kingsglaive and about the Brotherhood lore. And I'll also be talking about how Final Fantasy 15 is redeeming the Final Fantasy series. Until tomorrow, you have a fantastic day. Also remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. I cannot express that enough. Until then, I will see you next.